I think part of the reason why Joey came up with this sandwich is because as you can see, it's like, oh, what bread do I have? Marry me and it welcome again. So we are back with our friends cookbook today We're going to be veganizing our olive loaf and ham spread sandwich So I'll go ahead and link the ham spread video below, but this is essentially Something that Joey put together from his fridge and once we look at the ingredients I think we'll understand maybe how he came up with this idea um, but I believe as I say in the ham spread video, I was very curious to see what else was in here because ham spread is listed as a staple. Um, and there's only the two recipes. So if you're having it for pizza or you're having it on a sandwich, but either way, it sounds like it's Joey's snack. Uh, ooh, sorry, just with that, I was like, oh, maybe you could put it on a piece of cracker. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Merry meat again. So here we are. So this calls for a baguette. Truly though, after reading the recipe, you can use any kind of bread. Um, I say that too because this is like kind of old baguette, so it's uh, definitely got a crust and I had to uh, put some moisture back into it. So fun tip if you are like, oh wow, my baguette's really hard. Um, I <laughs> like, that's just crust. I can't really like chew on that right now. You can put it in the microwave with a, um, glass of water and you can heat it up for like 30 seconds and you can just test it out with that because essentially you're steaming the bread and so it's going to add moisture and help bring a little bit of it back so that's what i had to do here today so uh yeah just wanted to let you know about that little trick but uh the other thing it said to either cut it in slices and lay in side by side or to cut it three quarters of the way so with a baguette you can see there is we'll say where it's in focus uh there's a little bit of like this lip i did miss the cut a little bit here so you can tell like the difference there but and since it's a thinner baguette there's not as much room but you're gonna have that natural crease on a baguette and that's essentially where you would want to make a cut and i did it three quarters of the way and i didn't cut it all the way you know what i think actually cutting it all the way would be better for this like i think that's actually what they recommend doing so I don't want to cut all the way through because I've actually used these knives and happened to accidentally <laughs> cut the silicone mat and I was very sad. Um, still usable, but still very sad. So anyways, so we have them open face and we're going to add the olive thread. So there, you can make olive tapenade. Uh, this one didn't have a recipe for it. It was just like, buy it. Um, I, none of it, none of the stores <laughs> near me carry olive tapenade. The closest thing I could find is this uh, Kalamata olive spread and when looking up like Sorry, I'm like struggling to open this like this is why you prep things uh, <laughs> But uh, I looked up the like ingredients because I was like well what kind of olives do you use because I felt like it was more black olives than these but I saw that it just depends on your preference there was a mixture of different things and so we're just gonna spread this and then we'll keep talking. <laughs> uh, and it just goes on one side. So that is also something to note. Like, if you don't like olives, don't try this. <laughs> um, good news is, olive, uh, like, this just is naturally vegan, so, like, we don't have to do anything for it. Another great thing about not meat, about uh, being able to just buy it. Ooh, that's fun. Um, we'll use that little bit. Um, you might be able to hear my cat in the background. I apologize if you can. He is a little dramatic sometimes. Um, anyways, so we got those. And now let's go ahead. I'm going to... I'm not as prepared today as normal. Um, I'm going to go ahead. We have our ham spread. As I said, I'll link that below. And we're going to use this on our thing here. And just spread it up <laughs> I feel so distracted right now so I apologize I'm not really because it's like such a quick sandwich and like normally you wouldn't record yourself while like making a quick sandwich like this so it's kind of funny I just that was a huge glob that I just took I definitely don't need that much for this little little bit so we're gonna whoop, there we go um but I think part of the reason why Joey came up with this sandwich is because as you can see, it's like, oh, what bread do I have of it easily available to me? <laughs> What's just in my fridge? 
because you wouldn't really call these like the main components of a sandwich although technically because this ham is like filled with protein and actually probably a lot of good vitamins due to the olive spread so very interesting balanced meal um and then it's just cheese on top we of course are using vegan cheese um uh, and it says to just use any white cheese so we're using vegan mozzarella because that was the easiest one to find and we're just gonna put sorry so loud again just could have prepared the ingredients use one of those like little glass bowls that I normally use <laughs> anyways um, I'm actually very excited about this I think it's gonna be really good um, I think I somehow have the perfect amount of cheese left over again. Oh, oven's ready. Uh, so our oven is preheated at 350. Um, I don't want it to melt onto the silicone mat so much, this extra cheese, because it makes it harder to clean. It's just not as fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then it's just this. Preheated the oven at 350. We're going to put it in there essentially just to melt the cheese and get it all toasted. So if you have a toaster oven, this actually would be an even better recipe for that. But let's go ahead, pop it in, and then we'll be back here for the taste test. Merry meat again. So we're back. We just toasted up our cheese and, you know, made our bread halves into our sandwich halves into a whole sandwich um so with a baguette it definitely it gets even crispier in the oven like i already knew that's what was going to happen so unless you're using like fresh baguette i wouldn't choose this bread i also feel like jelly typically uses like italian sub rolls you know but to each their own that's why i think like any kind of bread you can use like i don't think a baguette is crucial if anything uh it might take away from the experience because since it's such a hard bread if you're like, oh, I love this filling, and you try to overfill it, it's going to squish out. Um, also, why I do believe that this is the better way to have the baguette, I think in general, eating the baguette in this way is so fun. <laughs> Sorry, because uh, I actually love baguettes. Uh, one, a really like fun thing is if you find like a vegan chocolate bar especially, whew, put it in the center of here, and it's like a really neat like, snack, especially if you have like a decaf coffee with it or something. But anyways, uh, I, this sandwich, I... <laughs> had no fears eating it, which is odd, <laughs> but um, it's pretty good. I mean, you definitely still get the ham spread. It's actually pretty strong. I don't know if I ever clarified since uh, making the pizza that it's actually a pretty strong flavor that you can taste. Um, the pepper's still like you could add like there's still like maybe a need if to have made it spicier when I first made this bread but then the olive spread is really nice. It has a little bit of tanginess to it that like balances out all that meatiness uh, flavor that's coming from um, that. And then of course the cheese does add a little bit of creaminess. I don't think it's like crucial though. So even better if you're like have some like extra things and like, or if you have crackers or things like that and you're like, oh, what else can I like really put this together? Or maybe make your own fun crazy sandwich. Like <laughs> let us know what your jo Joey inspired fridge sandwich would be. I'll have to look at mine and maybe we'll do like an extra little thing about it. But I'm going to go ahead and finish eating this. Maybe make me some more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.